How's she looking, bud? She's looking mighty rough. Oh my. She's a wet. <laughs> that's our problem. That's some of our problem right there. Turn it over. Look at the other side. All right, we're back on 455 2.0. Is that what we're naming this, Kevin? Yeah. <laughs> what are you seeing there? Oh, I'm not seeing anything good. What's it look like? They can't see it's dark. A little nasty? A little nasty. What do you see in the bottom? The bottom of the tank. All right, so if you guys don't know, me and Mr. Kevin went and picked this up uh, the other day. Mm -hmm. I guess that was yesterday. Mm -hmm. This machine has been sitting, I'll link the other video in the description of us dragging this thing home. This machine's been sitting for a few years. They parked it. Supposedly it ran one park like what everybody says. Yeah, I remember that. Actually. Yeah, we had that on the last 455E, I think. So, the reason they parked this thing, supposedly, the track kept coming off. You guys can see it's actually got pretty new track chains on it, but if you're looking, uh, looking down here, you notice we're missing some rollers. Whoever put the new rollers on it, they broke a bunch of bolts, tried to weld them on. They've all long gone, fell off. So uh, we're, uh, I guess, going to attempt to get this thing running. So the guy I got it off of said that they uh, hadn't tried to start it. They did I actually try to start it, I guess, but the starter was uh, not doing anything. The motor is not stuck. That's the first thing I checked. You guys watched the last 455E video. You know that the... Uh, engine was stuck this one actually turns over so if we can get this thing going and uh everything runs and works on it we'll probably go ahead fix the undercarriage stuff uh get everything else fixed up and running and working don't remember this has got 5400 hours on it so if everything else works on it we'll go ahead and jump on the undercarriage stuff so we'll just have to see what happens so they actually changed the oil on this there's no fuel in the tank so we're going to put some fuel in it try to get some fuel up they put a new fuel filter on it um we'll check the air filter and all that stuff they said the starter's bad so if the starter's bad i actually got a new one in stock so we keep those in stock all the time so we'll uh get to working here and see what we got going on what do you got in here The sediment bowl is right here. There was a little bit of stuff in it, I seen. You got fuel leaking out where it shouldn't. Hmm. She's about empty, ain't she? That quality on-road diesel, too. We ought to blow up in there and make sure that's not clogged up, too. Yep. Is it diesel fuel or water? Oh, it's old diesel fuel. It's even better. All right, I want to show you guys something. This is a feed line. Pull that uh, feed line over here, Kevin. You guys can see that thing's about closed off with junk. Happens quite a bit on this stuff setting. What we'll do, <laughs> yeah, look at that. Fog foam up. Maybe that's why they couldn't get it going. Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? So what we'll do is uh, just to make sure, see if this thing runs, we'll pull the feed line off the fuel pump here. We'll put air into it, blow back out that way, and uh, clear that line out. A lot of your old stuff, you'll uh, have problems on these. They might start running low on power and stuff, hurting for fuel, but uh, a good thing to do is always check, make sure you got good fuel flow. If you don't, just take some air and shove that stuff back in the tank. So we'll uh, get that line off and see what kind of good stuff we can blow out mm -hmm. all right i got the blow gun i'm gonna blow back in this line kevin you ready to see what comes out yeah here i got your i got your people right here okay they might oh. want to see yep oh there's a big turd it's a boy yeah one little golden nugget came Go ahead. That 
almost looks like uh Okay, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, we got her, bub. <laughs> we got her. All right. <laughs> Where'd you get there, bud? Well, we had it on camera, but uh, I don't know where did, it went. Did you get this feel on my camera? It was, a, it was a boy. It went that way. A boy? Yeah. It's probably over here somewhere. We had a little hot dog there for a little bit. There was some, I had some good pressure on that. Yeah. I'm gonna have to go get for stage two here. It's all clean now. Okay. We've got this valve, we need to clean it out next. You're, you're pre that. He's, Kevin's pretty proud of his uh, catch I'm fan. I'm going waterfall. Going into the here. waterfall, waterfall. That's right, look at her go. <laughs> so I got that uh, shutoff valve cleaned out. You guys can see there's a little tiny hole that goes there. It's probably what, quarter inch maybe? Yeah. It's really got that choked off, so I think what we're gonna do is just screw the hose back on here for now. And uh, we're just gonna try to see if this thing runs. I think if it runs, we'll probably have to clean that tank out. But Kevin's I'll real, take Kev home. Kevin's real proud of us. My wife would like that. Yeah, put that in your front yard. Yeah, I think she'd like that. Maybe. Proud of your little diesel fuel waterfall. People pay good money for something like this. This is we'll art. We'll give away all this free diesel this right too. This right here is art. <laughs> smells like what, turpentine? <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> Oh, you guys seen they had the uh, starter cables unhooked we're gonna go ahead and hook those up they thought the starter was bad in it um they got a new battery in there there's a disconnect switch right here i don't know if they knew about that but they didn't and it may be all i've seen these things go bad these disconnect switches right here so there could be some problems with that or it could be the starter we don't know so we're gonna find out anyway, aren't we? That's right. Kevin's gonna hook that stuff back up and uh, we'll kind of start from square one. Looks like we need a John Deere key. I know a guy that's got a few of those. <laughs> All right, let's check in the air filter. They said they put a new one in it. It looks like it's got a brand new John Deere one in it. We may leave that out for right now, just in case she needs a bottle. How you doing over here, waterfall man? Just about draining. We're gonna dump five gallons of fresh fuel in there, uh, get it up to the uh, glass fuel filter over here. This is a glass bowl. There's a bleeder screw right here. It's nine sixteenths, and uh, we got a primer pump here. If this all works, we should be able to fill that up. Then it will go to the injection pump. We may. Kevin had a pretty good idea cracking this line off over here at the inlet and the injection pump make sure we got uh, good red fresh fuel so man that stuff stinks we need smell a vision yeah we do all right we're about ready for some new fuel ain't we all right i just dumped five gallons of fuel in there hunter or hunter i just about called you hunter Kevin, Hunter's over here working on his Bronco. You want to show him your Bronco? I don't know. Huh? Bronco 30. You know everybody's going to be asking about because it it's been in the last couple videos. Bronco 30, Bronco 30. So, now that's aluminum too, so when you tighten it up, you got to be careful. There's a little bleeder screw up here where Kevin's at. It's going to let all the air and stuff out of there. And uh, he's gonna hit the little tickler. You got anything here? You may have to shoot some air in the tank. Is that making a difference? Negative. So while I'm turning this, there's a little plunger in the cam. Sometimes they get stuck on a high spot where they don't uh, pump very good. Oh. You getting something? It's a backwards girl. It pulls up this way. Yeah. Check out Hunter's Bronco. What are you working on in there, Hunter? interior stuff so this is what a 93 the 93 bronco we actually done a complete uh, drivetrain it's got one ton axles and stuff on it from the f-350 it's got a little four-cylinder cummins in there looking all fly got 37 inch tires we built all the spring hanger brackets and stuff like that in-house hunter is only 14 years old 
Yeah. And you've had this for two years? Yep. Started on when he was 12. So he's in there cleaning up the seat belts, putting them back in. New interior in it. How you doing over here, Kevin? Bob, I see fuel coming. Let me get a light. Is it red? Yep. See that? You guys Look see good. it splashing in there? It should come up in the top right there. We'll be back in a couple hours. After his finger went numb. <laughs> Well, at least it ain't that green turpentine. <laughs> then we'll see what kind of electrical problems we got. <laughs> You're so optimistic today. Hey. You're coming up in the top. You're getting ready to do the squirts. <laughs> Is it? Just like the Mexican you had for lunch. See? Yeah, just like some Taco Bell. Oh, oh, there she comes. You get that back out far enough? Should have her. All right. We got engine oil. We got fuel. Now we need some cranking, right? And see what happens. Why are you looking devastated? I'm not. I was set up. Should we tell tell the people what happened? I was set up. I think Kevin may have been set up. There's that little bleeder <laughs> screw, made out of aluminum with a little tiny nipple. Can we say nipple? Uh, I just did. I think you can. I said it twice. So I think somebody's probably over torqued that one at one time. <laughs> Kevin went to go put the wrench on it and, and it actually broke. broke. So I had another one out there on a parts tractor, thankfully. He's going to put that in. But that's why I was talking about uh, you got to be fragile with those things. They just got to be snugged up, not tight. So fragile. All right. All right, Kevin's going to attempt to see what's not going to happen. I turn your disconnect on. Full bunny rabbit. <laughs> Hit the key. Oh, you hear that click? The relay's clicking, bud. Time to get some dead. testing equipment out. She just did. She did. All right, we had 12 volts come to the starter um, from the battery up there. We put the jump pack on the starter trying to uh, bypass the, in case we had a bad ground or something up here. Starter's still not doing anything. What do you think? Take the starter off? Time for new parts. Time for a new starter. Yep. And that's what we were told was bad all along, so we just confirmed it. Nobody wants to put on an expensive starter if they don't need to. That's right. Luckily, I've got one in the shelf. We'll go grab one. Come in here. We got a G, G Series starter on the shelf. I try to keep starters for most stuff we make or sell. Bob, I got you one brand new starter. I'm ready. Are you ready? Oh, you ain't got it off yet. Oh. oh, I was over here being heckled by your children. Don't let them pick on you. They're they're not they're, they're not smaller than you. They're me. They're taller than you. Maybe they can do that now. Yeah. They both surpassed you. It's kind of. I'll shove them both in the microwave. I don't care. You know what's scary is Hunter's looking me in the eyes now. Yeah. He's only 14. Mean little kids. That's right. All right, we're gonna get this swapped out. Then we'll see what happens. All right, did you do good work? Nope. You made me go underneath, didn't you? Yep, you did good. New shiny starter. Are you, uh, should we tell them what happened earlier when you ripped the dash out? Well, 
So where'd, your, up here. where'd your friends go? I was flexing. Oh, I killed them all. We had a couple wasps nests up here, didn't we? Yeah. I need to take a phone call. Oh. All right. We're back. You ready? Is this a moment of Oh. Almost. So close. Is it turned on down here? Oh, we got louder clicks now, bud. We'll see what's going on. No, it needs a lot more than that. We got plenty of ether. <laughs> oh, bud, we got... We got some electrical issues going on now. Oh, boy. Huh? Oh, boy. Were you wiggling that key up there, or what are you doing? Oh. Look at this. Wait, the power goes out when I turn the key on? Yeah, I got 12. It's never a good sign. I wonder what our ground looks like. Hmm. Is this an as is wearable purpose? Yeah, we're going back on, uh, what was his name? Gabe and... Uh, yeah. Roger. Roger. Yeah, this is definitely going back. All right, I'm getting another phone call I'm important today. We'll be back. All right, I cleaned the ground. It's way down there on the uh, flywheel housing. Are you gonna try it now? Oh, oh another issue. I've seen these disconnect switches go bad too. They actually run the hot wires through the disconnect. Are you ready to see what happens? Yeah, that might help. We're ready. Will she fire back up? He's a classic. Woo! Brand new. I think that was a combination of ground and starter and all kinds of stuff. You got more wasps flying Come out, bud. Out of here. Come at me, bro. <laughs> all right. I think we'll put the air filter and stuff back in, get the stuff off the tracks, and we'll see if the trainee's in it. Nope. Got a leaker already. A leaker. <laughs> that could be. I didn't even get a touch it yet. That could be from... I think it's this one right here. Well, you know that line goes up here and it's uh... Oh, it's got a disconnect on it? Yeah, it's one of those quick disconnects. Oh, wow, right yeah. I've done some quick disconnects like that. That's sometimes. for the four one bucket. Guy don't want to hit that level. All right, so if you watched the last video, these things have uh, spring applied brakes when the engine shuts off and the oil actually releases them. So in the last video when we picked it up, we actually tightened these bolts down which uh, released the brakes on this machine. So what we're doing now is uh, backing them back off. I got this little plug out. There's actually an arm in here. So when he cranks that bolt down, it actually releases the brakes. So we gotta get the bolt where I think there's like an eighth inch of clearance on that arm or something. And then uh, there's a jam nut that goes on there. We'll jam that down. So if we don't do that, we wouldn't have any steering brakes when we try to move it. So 
We'd have steering clutches, but no brakes. That so wouldn't wouldn't turn. It's a bolt, bud. Big bolt. You guys probably can't see in there, but like I say, there's a little arm in there. So we'll get those adjusted back up, and then uh, see if she moves. Let's do this. Make it run, Bob. She moves and runs and operates. It's a little slow picking up transmission fluid. There's a uh, suction screen filter way down in there. Probably needs cleaned out. It's probably never been apart. I'm gonna get a new transmission filter for it. A uh, new hydraulic filter. Um, we'll probably back it over the pit there where Kevin's at. We'll drop a oil out of it Monday. It's actually Friday afternoon. We're getting ready to quit here now. So steering brakes, the gears seem to be in it. Like I said, it's a little slow picking up fluid. I'd say it's just that filter strainer been sitting so so far everything is working seems to be we got hoses leaking got undercarriage stuff to fix so we're gonna make sure the transmissions in it 100% good before we start tackling anything else so Monday I gotta help Kevin a little bit on some other stuff then we'll pull it over the pit there drop the oil out of it out of the transmission clean that strainer out and then uh, make sure she works so we'll see you guys Monday all right, back on the 455 this morning. Kevin's actually over there busy doing a few things. So I'm gonna tie up some uh, uh, oil leaks here this morning. So rebuilding these spool valves. These things always leak bad on these crawlers, dozers. They're all the same. Um, they're pretty simple setup. 
Originally I had an o-ring in them. Somebody I think may have put these o-rings in them. They're awfully soft and gooey and I don't think they're the right material. So uh, these spools and the dozer spools are usually three quarter inch diameter. It takes a three quarter by one inch o-ring, eight inch wall. I replaced them. I think the updated John Deere kit with a quad ring. You guys can see that has little grooves in it. There's actually four ceiling servers. There's two there and two in the inside. That's why I call them a quad ring. So it gives you extra level of protection took the old o-rings out their o-ring that one drops down the hole and then there's like a dirt wiper seal that goes on top of that and then there is a uh, flat plate that holds that all in there so i already rebuilt that one i'm gonna stick that one together and then i'll replace the main bucket one it's actually bigger on these loaders i think it's a one inch diameter um spool there so that should stop a lot of those oil leaks in there and then uh i'm gonna tackle uh i think i know this one hose is leaking i'll probably do both those while we're here then we got that broken line on the four one buckets i'm gonna try to straighten those up see what's going on with that uh so hopefully we can get some uh bucket movement going on without having a oil bath and then once the boys get done with that uh 700 over the pit they pulled in there this morning we'll get this dude backed over and uh get that transmission drained out and that suction screen filter uh pulled out and see what's going on with it Boy, look at that track. That BR power grade just killed her good. The track's looking a little wet. But look at the flatness of it. It is pretty nice. It's time that our RC track. Did I tell you I ordered some spikes for the pipe? Oh, yeah? All right, so kind of jumped around here. Last time I was uh, putting some hydraulic hoses on here, I got those on. Got tied up. Randy was not doing anything, so we sent this dude out to Randy. Oh. And uh, we opened up a can of worms. <laughs> oh, girl. That's a dandy there. Is that pipe thread? It is. So I pulled the track covers off. And uh, we got surprises awaiting us here. Somebody has uh, done a little adaptive fitting. You come to the other side and see what they were, you know, actually going for. Yeah, they've got this side welded up solid. <laughs> guys can see that that's supposed to be a solid chrome that's an rod adopt. that's an adapter, adapter. Kit. the rod is broken they put a sleeve over it probably don't adjust Boy, she's looking good. yeah she's not she's happy missing. yeah here's the piece that was laying under the track cover look at that they even it's even got threads on it. hollow i mean that's they put a cap on the end of it like it's legit that's supposed to be solid steel <laughs> so anyway that uh caused me to buy a you know <laughs> like thousand dollars worth of more parts yesterday after i seen that that's what we get for making it run oh my nuts. gosh <laughs> so randy should have got this cleaned out a little bit better kind of for uh get that transmission strainer off i said i was gonna look at that first before we went any farther in it but i thought the transmission does have an issue they're not that big a deal to pull out i'll pull them out and fix them and that was before I seen this, and it just keeps getting better. Did we get washed in there? A little bit. A little bit. It's looking better. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to try to fire it up. It uh, just likes to go in first or second. It loses prime after a bit, so I'm hoping it's just that suction strainer, you know, transmission. So we're going to take it in the pit. I was waiting on fitting for one more line here. I got it. Got to finish making that hose. We'll put that back up there. I got the four in one lines all hooked up, so we ought to be able to move the bucket here too. So, all right, we need to probably. Hell, we don't need those for a long time, do we? <laughs> That's probably going to be in another video, but we'll see if we can get her bucket working, transmission working right, and get her serviced up here. So, all right, Kevin, you gonna do the honor?
didn't work. They must have adopted a 4L60E transmission or something from an LS package because we've got nothing but neutrals. So, but we got bulldozers. We're gonna shove that baby in. You guys noticed but i got a shot of it earlier i gave that to mikey kevin's got a gold star award that's right so when this thing was sitting over here i fired it up and it drove out on its own that's right. now it wouldn't drive back in on its own right. all that power all that power she wasn't picking up transmission fluid hopefully that's what we're hoping hopefully it's it's really legit. Ooh. It's really right or if you hit that with your rc car you ain't going nowhere. Hold it. All right, so we're gonna drain the transmission oil out, or Kevin is. I've got a hydraulic hose here to put on. We've got a transmission filter and hydraulic filter. And then we'll pull that suction screen out. So we probably said it about 10 times, I bet. Anyway, hopefully that suction screen just clogged up with some crap. If not, we've got uh, some bad transmission problems. So let's cross our fingers. Hey. All right, we're under the dozer. We're looking at these uh, Thank you. summer rollers. That one's got a nice bead on it and bolts. I have nice weld and bolts, nice weld and one Is bolt. one pin or what? Nice weld, no roller. <laughs> that side started on meth. Missing, missing something right there. <laughs> this one's, that one's getting ready to head out. Right. It's not left to chat yet. <laughs> All right. Kevin's found the drain plug to the tranny. Did you get her clean, bud? I'm going to turn on. Oh, did you hear that deception? I bet that's loud on TV.
Oh, bud. That's not good. So he's need, very promising. You need a driver extension up in there. Yep. Somebody's been there before you. <laughs> so, grab this light back here. On all these G Series tractors, let me shut this noisy thing off. On all these G Series tractors, there's a suction screen right up here. You gotta pull that roll of bolts out. There's a big old metal strainer on there. We're hoping that's clogged up. So Kevin's gonna drain the oil first. You don't actually have to drain the oil first, but you ready? Right. There's a lot of oil up there, bud. Like 20 gallons. Come on, water. Ooh, Ooh. chocolate milk. Ooh. A little bit of water in it, that don't surprise me. It's kind of thick, ain't it? Yeah. That might be why we're not picking up prime. Hey, pull that dipstick up there, Mason. There we go. Oh, perfect. Now we got her going. Did you get it in the face? Just a little bit. Just in my Oh, she's filling up fast. Oh yeah. Is it sucking it quick enough? Oh, that's some good looking chocolate milk. Need just a little mm -hmm. bit more Hershey syrup in yeah. it though. Yeah, that's a little, a little weak of chocolate milk for me. Nathan, you may have to uh, put that dipstick back in there. It didn't go really There you go, yeah. Slow her down. Oh. All right. We're gonna let that drain. I'm gonna go back up and work on my hose. Just a little bit. Alright, so I didn't like the way that transmission oil looked. We dumped uh, five gallons of diesel fuel in there, didn't we? That's right. Kevin's gonna, he's gonna. That was loud. Tranny clean. He's got his mega wand down in there. He's gonna stir up all that diesel fuel. That whole case down there holds like 20 gallons of oil. So we're gonna stir some of it up, flush it out, and see what uh, we get this time. All right, Kevin's been giving her another, what do you call that? Uh, the air job? That's right. It's probably something else we want to say, but. No way. No way. Hey, Tucker. Get Tucker on camera. Look, there he is. He's happy. Hi, Tucker. I'm happy, Tucker. All right, here we go. What color is it going to be? Oh, a little bit, of, A little bit of chocolate. A little bit of red. Hey, Bob. You better put that plug in. You don't have the air hose hooked up. Surely five gallons to suck it up, huh? Yeah, we put fuel in the transmission. Isn't that what you do? I'm trying to clean it up. Undercarriage sales. Somebody's got them a new set of undercarriage on their trailer. All right, we'll let that drain out, then we'll put some oil in her. What do you think? Okay. We got to pull that suction screen out. What's that? I said, you want me to free Willy? Free Willy. <laughs> I'll do it. I ain't scared. I'm not up here. You're down there. Yeah, these are a pain to come off. I'll free Willie oh, that dude. Oh. You took both ends off, didn't you? Yeah, bub. Oh my. Free Willie. I ain't got no pain under here, bud. <laughs> Did it quit running or? Yeah. She's ready for you. How about some pig mats? Got some? Yeah. Yeah. How about the other side? Let's see if the other side leaks. Yeah, Door number one. Chocolate milk factory. Oh yeah, bud. Oh yeah. She had a little milk in her. Huh. How about some paper towels there? My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get this up in here. I'll see I got a camera. Oh boy. It's rough. And I got it? a light. I got, I got, I got I my fat head. Thing. I got a little oh. camera angle right here. Bro. Why'd that just pull in my head? What? Oh, I... Are you knocking that on my head? No. It's no magnet, bud. How about I... that bolt? I got the bolt, no washer. I think it fell on me. Okay. You wasn't doing your job. Mm -hmm. Is it heavy? Yeah. That's probably it, bud. Hey, you dropped another washer. Yep. This is real convenient.
Where are we at? One more. Or two see. more. Two more. Yeah, bub. Oh, yeah. Get you one more down there by the bottom. Down there. Yep, you're on. Hang on. Go back. Go back. Right in there. I know that was crooked, but oh, I got yeah, her. You got her. One million percent you got her, bub. Perfect. Nailed it. Yeah, here's everything right here. Oh. Out. oh. How's she looking, bud? She's looking mighty rough. Oh my. She's a win. <laughs> that's our problem. That's some of our problem right there. Turn it over. Look at the other side. Oh, uh, look at her. Chachi milk. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got in door number two here. The good thing is I don't see any uh, transmission disc stuff. Just a uh, cock -ca. Yeah. So all this uh, was allowing, it actually sucks from this side and it was probably not getting oil. Mason's putting on new teeth here on the front bucket. You guys paid attention this thing come in. It had uh, no teeth on it. I'm just missing some shanks. So we got some new teeth from ITR America. We are a supplier for ITR stuff. So he's going to get the rest of those put on. It's very new teeth. We'll get this cleaned up and uh, stick her back in her some fresh oil. And I bet that it might work better. What do you think? <laughs> All right, Kevin's got this thing looking a little better. It don't look like a Milkshake City. Mm -hmm. mm. That's a real fine screen. That's actually, the pump sucks from this side here. So if this gets clogged up, it won't allow the pump to pick up any prime. So ever have any transmission problems on these G-Series or any kind of dozer with the old style transmission, you know, power shift transmissions. And first thing you wanna check is that uh, suction screen strainer. About every brand is gonna have something if it has the old school power shift transmissions in them. So I'm gonna get uh, that cleaned up down there and we'll throw that back in there. Probably throw some oil in it and see what happens. It's nasty. Yeah, it's like a cat threw up. All right, got the uh, suction screen strainer back in the depths down in there. Got the hoses all on. Kevin's filling up the transmission. Some transmission fluid. We should be able to move the bucket now. See how many sprinklers we got there. So, transmission's good. This thing should fire up, pick up prime, and it should go forward and backwards, not do the old slippy slip, right? Yeah. That's what we're hoping, so. So this thing all works, gets going. I know we're gonna have to drain that transmission out again because it's still got uh, lots of chocolate milk in it. Chocolate milk. We gotta get it all good and warm and Looks like this is leaking up here from that plug. Who fixed that? Yeah, I, I was over here. Yeah, That's from here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So we'll have to take it out and run it. We might have plans for that. We might not. It depends on what it does. So we'll uh, get this filled up and see what it does. All right, all right. Kevin has her topped off with um, transmission fluid. Trick shift. Trick shift, BM training shift. I'm hoping 
suck up some oil, please. Kevin's popping the funnels out. I took this one out. It's got nice, clean red fluid in, amazingly. So we're not going to mess with them. Somebody's been in there. Why not? Got some water draining. Oh. Ah, I knew it was coming. Oh, it was in my mouth. <laughs> I mean, couldn't have got any more explosive. Oh, um, you should know better than that. I know. I even tried to look away. <laughs> <laughs> What's it doing? Building pressure? It's got pressure. It's a bit full. Yeah, it's not too bad. They've got uh, new oil in that too, don't they? Yeah. We're going to leave those alone. It's just no crawler and it looks like it's pretty good oil. So we're going to flush out the uh, antifreeze new antifreeze in it and uh, get a couple of those pins fixed. Hey, they're after you. You better go hide. That's a meat wagon. It's a meat wagon. That's that not nice, Kevin. Alright, we got a broken bolt here. He's going to weld uh, this nice nut on. Mason's going to do it. We're going to weld that on there and probably heat this up with the torch. Get it, Mason. Get her all expanded out and uh see what happens here get her bob we got eight inches of water let me get weldo vision going weldo vision weldo how's vision that, how's that going for you get it close your eyes it even shocked me Got her hot. Let that cool off. I'm gonna grab a torch and heat her up. And here we go. Get her good and hot, bud. Do what? What's this gonna do now? Gonna expand the metal and break the rest. Stand out and make a big. So it looks like Kevin's head when we get down. That's right. Oh, that's I wonder how good the welder I was. Oh, that's why the camera's on. Yeah. We're gonna be. When it snaps off, off we can all laugh. Then we'll let Mason fly. And in his base, I'll do it. Without gas on. Oh yeah, bub. You got her. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> I think it turned me. <laughs> it did. Good job. Take two. Okay, well, he's put another seven nuts on there. This seven one's number nuts. eight. Sounds Let's like number two. <laughs> number two. He's going to make it glow this time. How do you feel about this one? It's not going to come out. Oh. Ooh. I'm going with my boss. He writes my checks. Well, he just started writing my checks again. Yeah. We got one more oh. over there. We're going to go back and get you an education. Yeah, this is what happens when you don't here. stay in school. You gotta come to here. Zooming in, get an action shot. Oh no. That's tight. Oh no, bub. <sighs> Get you another handful. Moving, is it? No. No, I'll go get some more. This hurts. You know what plan B is, don't you? Oh boy, here we go. Plan B! Did you see that magic trick? I did. That was a pretty good magic trick. 
Ayan, babe. Put it off. Put it off. Put that big old bolt on there. Somebody's done been in here and screwed me. <laughs> Fine, babe. You did it. We'll grind it off and put a bolt head on there. What do you think? Then we'll put a nut on it. Be just fine. That's right. Can't be stuck if it's a liquid, right? That's right. All right. End up welding a 7 8 bolt on there. Put the head on there. Welded around it. Got a nut. Actually tacked the nut on there too. So, What else you find, Kevin? Any surprises? Somebody's, Somebody's got this one kind of... What you got going on there? I've got this one welded. Is that one going to stay there? I got a new fold in this one. Good job, Mason. I think we're ready to take it out for a little spin, make sure oh, she works. I mean, the tracks are getting ready to fall off, but it'll be all right. Make sure everything's in it. Don't mean nothing. And then we'll have an undercarriage party, probably in the next video. That is not going to be fun. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. All right. Okay, Jim Billy. Let's see what happens. Let's, let's see it.
a beaut. Hey, every time you put it in drive. You like all that slack? Oh there? boy, she oh, was just. It's broken there. That's, that stuff there isn't even important. All the gears and steering is in it though. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. She's a real dandy. through some more mud oh, okay. and I'll call in sick tomorrow and then boys can do the undercarriage. Oh yeah? Yeah. I think that's gonna be in another video, what do you think? Yeah I'd say so. When you guys see all that we're gonna probably pull the track frames off, flip them upside down, and do all that cool stuff in the next video. Yeah. Well I think that's a wrap on this ain't it? Yep. You got it bub. You gotta get it give a big thumbs up. If you like the video give us a big thumbs up. Definitely like and uh, subscribe if you're not done so. We need a lot of help with these old projects. You guys like seeing this I stuff. I still need paychecks. Too. Kevin got paid on the last 455, but we're not sure like on this one. Right back down in the yeah, it's not good. <laughs> At least the center part's good, we think. So, yeah, well, next video pops out. We'll be on the undercarriage. You guys definitely don't want to mix, miss that. Uh, it's going to be a chore to say the least. So, we got to get a track press out, take the tracks apart. And, all that good stuff, so we'll catch you guys next time.